Imagine transforming your body without ever stepping into a gym. Wow, doesn't that sound like an amazing thing? Well, that's where I was because um, I was one of the first people to buy P90X. I was in the first infomercial and I got a crazy wild transformation with it and it happened to get released right at a very, very crucial dark period of my life. So right now it's the 20th anniversary of that program coming out. I was like, oh my gosh, has it been 20 years? But I, it, it's totally transformed every aspect of my life. So I'm celebrating that and I want to celebrate that with you uh, because we're, we're just going to dive in on how it just sparked a fitness rev rev revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a resolution too for some people. And uh, just making that home workout uh, a powerhouse trend. And so we're going to explore some of those things. Some uh, Just how, to, how it got countless people off the couch and into shape. But before we get into all this, I do want to welcome you to another Power Blast podcast where we provide nourishment for the soul, allowing you to transform from the inside out, providing rapid results and mindset and fitness so that you can recharge that mental and physical battery of yours and reclaim your power. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get in this. If you are feeling inspired, head over to TalkToPerry.com uh, and let's start your transformation journey with similar strategies that we'll be talking about today. My calendar is wide open for podcast viewers and listeners like you. And it's all about keeping, it's all about keeping your energy high so that you can reach all of your goals. And I want to help you recharge that mental and physical battery of yours so that you can reclaim your power. We do that in 15 minutes. Whoa, 15 minutes? That's like crazy wild. TalkToPerry.com is where that's at. P90X. Okay, so I maybe I have the dates wrong, but I started a new round of P90X in mid-March. I thought I started in mid-March of 20 of 2004. That's what I recollect. But I just heard a um a podcast from Carl Deichler, the CEO of Beachbody or Body now, um and Tony Horton and they were celebrating it in, in mid April. <laughs> so, I'm like, do I have the dates wrong? I don't know. But anyway, I committed to doing a round of that. I'm actually on my uh just finishing my 7th week. I don't know how many rounds of that program I've done. And I know, I mean, it's, there's a lot of fitness fanatics out there that, you know, kind of scoff at the name, you know, the, the name of P90X, whether it works or not, whether, you know, there's a thing called muscle confusion and all this stuff. And I just love what they did with branding. But for me and for many people out there, it got us off the couch and into shape without having, to, it removed a lot of barriers while it still challenged us. Um, and it removed the barriers of, um, is it's too late in life for me to get in shape. Um, I, I need to, I need to commit to going to a gym. I got to hire a personal trainer, all these things. And so that's where I was looking and what I needed in my life. Now I bought the program, its predecessor called, um, power 90 and, you know, and this is on VHS tape, so it's like you don't get to just jump to your favorite moves. You know, if you want to get to your favorite move, you're hitting the fast forward button and going through it. But I I found myself with going through Power 90. Um, that got me into momentum. It got me going. But to tell you the truth, it's it's all I had um, as far as what I wanted to do and what I wanted to commit to. And it was 30 minutes roughly and it was pushing and pulling exercises, some ab work, some cardio in there. And I, I realized that, that there's a little system to this. And I dropped 35 pounds. I'm like, wow, this is really cool. So I knew it worked. But after a period of time, it seemed like, gosh, I, I, need, to, I need to change things up. And at the end of my that first year of doing power 90 uh and my wife had joined me to doing that i had lost my wife to a car crash and so that's the dark period i told you about in in that happened in my life my my world just flipped upside down 
Now, I was on, I was building momentum and it was just like all of a sudden life came to a screeching halt and here I am, you know, my life is different. Um, I'm without my spouse, uh, everything else, all the responsibilities that we had and things that we had built together are on me. So life seemed very out of control and I started dialing it back and going, okay, what can I control when life is so out of control? Because I knew I didn't want to go down the path of just, oh, just wallowing in despair, being a victim, feeling, you know, depressed. That wasn't feeling good to me and it wasn't feeling like the road I wanted to go. But er everything else was unfamiliar territory to me. But I'm like, what is familiar? Exercise. And Beachbody at the time was releasing these little snippets, these little video teasers, if you will, on a new program that Tony Horton was creating. And he was tapping into the mindset of many different uh, fitness gurus and uh, fitness experts and things like that in formulating um, this formulating this program. Now, I just got done listening to a podcast by Carl Deichler with Tony, as I had said, um, and they were, re, re, you know, recollecting how that all came about. And I think Carl gave, you know, Tony like a year and a half, maybe two years to formulate this program. And Tony, uh, if you ever listen, I'll, I'll drop that uh, link to that episode in the show notes. But he was saying that, uh, he kind of procrastinated and all of a sudden he's needing to, you know, tap into these people and formulate a program that, you know, could potentially appeal to a lot of people. Uh, but yeah, it was a big challenge. And I, I thought it was really funny that Tony would say he thought Carl was crazy by wanting to put out a program like this. He thought, who's going to do this? Maybe 30 for 35 people. <laughs> um, and it took a while before that, um, uh, that, program built momentum and the thing was and Tony and Carl both agree that it was the testimonials of the and, and the transformations of the people that did it and what it did for our lives and I'm one of those testimonials it um it got me through that very dark period of life but it also got me chiseled it got me ripped uh it, it was moves i had never done before i was totally freaked out now i get i bet you there's a bunch of fitness uh fanatics out there that kind of like oh my gosh i've been doing fitness all my life and all these things but for many of us where life we just drifted off course for so long the the thought of doing five push-ups in a row <laughs> 10 push-ups we could do it back in our heyday but the first program the first workout right out of p90x it alternates between uh, chest moves and pull-ups, and they're banging out 30 pull-ups or 30, 30 push-ups. Then they do some pull-ups. Then the next one's another kind of set of push-ups. They're banging out another 30, and then another 30, and another 30. And I'm like, man, I barely could crank out 10. But there's something about Tony's personality. There was something where you felt like you were working out with friends. There was something that had you stepping up and just doing your best each time. And that's what I, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm approaching this program with kind of a little skepticism, but, you know, being a little timid in the way I did it. Because I didn't want to injure myself. I didn't want to, you know, tweak anything. But each week, I, I grew. I developed. I, I really, it was just like, it was mind-blowing, the shifts that I was having. And... There, there were some big ahas for me that, you know, this program, because every three weeks it, it mixes up the format, hence the muscle confusion, you know, you aren't getting into these periodization things where you just hit the plateau, it mixes up the routine. So you're constantly in growth, constantly challenging the muscles a little bit differently. That's why, you know, the, the, the muscle confusion um, uh, branding, but it not only boosted my physical uh, resilience, but it, it was my mental resilience. And proving that, one, I didn't need the fancy equipment to get fit. That's one of the big things. It got rid of a lot of the excuses that I had because all I had to do was just hit the play button and show up and do my best and just use the equipment I had around. A lot of it's body weight stuff. Um, and that way, I could 
with and, and those are about a little bit longer longer uh, commitment workouts. You know, I went from thirty minutes. Now I've got an hour. The yoga was an hour and a half. I I kind of customized that over time because, as a matter of fact, my first round of that program, I skipped the yoga because I didn't even do the yoga in the power. 90 workouts, which was only a five minute routine, skipped it. I'm like, nope, not doing that. Later, I, I learned that it, when I actually gave it a try, my all my workouts got better because of yoga. But it, it's just one of those things where I realized that, and, and this is the part I was telling you before, it not only you know, got me into shape, got me off the couch and, and helped, me, you know, helped me stay committed, it connected me with a community. Because there were other people that were doing this with me. And so now we're, we're a level of being accountable, being supportive, being motivated that way, encouraging each other. And then, um, so I've got new, new friends that are they're also on a mission. It changed my energy um, and, and really started to level up my thinking. It changed how I went about my day. It changed my career. It, it, you know what? Over time... I ended up remarrying, and and we have a P90X <laughs> love story here. It was P90X that my wife was searching for online, came across and and remembered my story from years prior, um, and was just wondering. She had some questions about P90X. That's how our conversation had started. Not that we were out there on a dating app and <laughs> looking for each other, but you know that was it. And so, um. And, and then, you know, I, I partnered with the company and, and because it just was a, such a big game changer for me. And it wasn't just about me. I knew where my journey was. It was inspiring others. It was inspiring my family. It was inspiring my coworkers. It was inspiring my friends. Even if they didn't do P90X, it was inspiring them to get off the couch and to do something. It was a ripple effect. And by them doing something, for themselves, that rippled into their coworkers, their friends, their family, their kids as they're growing up. So it was rippling beyond what I could um, fathom. And that gave me such a turbocharge, a rush going, we can, we can control this. What can you control when life can seem so out of control? Nowadays, we chalk it up to, I'm so busy, I'm so distracted, I'm so overwhelmed, I'm so stressed. My gosh, if you want an antidote for that, P90X is the way to do it. I've got a lot of friends that are actually coming back to this program because they remember. They, they, they tried it before um, and they remember the amazing results that they had. I mean, so if, if you are at a place where you're ready to redefine your fitness, and it doesn't even have to be P90X. I didn't start there, but head over to TalkToPerry.com. Let's craft your personal success because so many of us, we bounce from thing to thing to thing all day long. It's draining our mental and physical uh, energy, kind of like we are a six-year-old smartphone with 2% battery life, and we're panicking because we don't have a charger nearby. I want to help you recharge. I want to hear your goals. I want to hear the things you're struggling with. Um, what's become an energy drain for you. And I can tell you within 15 minutes of us talking together, which direction is be the best for you and where you're going to get the biggest result from so that you can recharge and reclaim your power. And I'll share my power of five strategy with you. Speaking of power, there's a lot of power stuff going on, right? Just want to help you reach your goals. You know, tell me what you want in life and I'll tell you how to get it. So that's over at talktoperry.com. As I often ask, how would your life look different if your battery was running at 100% every single day, right? You used to have to go and get a, a body subscription to be able to get P90X. Now you can get P90X as a digital download by itself without uh, needing the subscription. So, my gosh, you're all good. I mean, you can have it all right there, whether it's on your phone, your tablet, your computer. I stream it on my TV. I also stream it on my bike. It's all right there for you. So uh, I'll drop that into the show notes there so you can have access. So P90X, I mean, it taught, taught me so many valuable lessons. I mean, I, I only touched on a few of them here, but it was such a mental empowering gift to me. For you, it, 
you know, whether you're looking to jumpstart your fitness journey, maybe shake up your routine, maybe looking for another option to do at home. Uh, you can do this one in the gym too. It's not like I, I'm saying you can't go to the gym. I've done it in the gym uh, also. Um, I just like the convenience of having it at home so I could quickly get it done and I eliminate any other potential distractions and op obstacles. Um, so here's the thing. Start small. You know, choose, you know, maybe it's P90X. Commit to completing it. And just you do that, your summer is going to look much, much different <laughs> than it is right now. It can lead you to a journey of a thousand miles and um, can really, really help you propel things in, who knows, a lifelong journey. That program has propelled me and, and taken me on a journey. Now it's been 20 years. And I, and I didn't drift off course. I mean, it's, it's, I'm still exercising, still showing up. Like I said, I am on week, about ready to start week eight next week. So just know you can choose to use your power and take control, or you can let excuses, justifications, distractions, coming up with all the reasons, because I did that before. You can let those control you and drain your power. It really boils down to deciding and committing to yourself and your goals and choosing to figure out new ways, looking at possibilities, and keep moving forward. You've got this, my friend. So I'd love to hear your top takeaway from today. Drop those down in the comments. I promise I will respond and will reply to those. Uh, I hope you have yourself a good one. And as always, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. That's another Power Blast podcast in the books. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember, when you are ready to recharge your battery, make sure you go to talktoperry.com. That's talktoperry.com. That's P-E-R-R-Y. And I want to listen. I want to hear, you know, what's going on. I want to help you in that 15-minute call to recharge your battery and reclaim your power so that you're off and running and creating massive momentum toward your dream. Also, every day, I am delivering more motivation, support, tips, and strategies inside my free community with amazing people uh, like yourself. And we are conquering the mindset and the fitness. I do 52 weeks of free training in there, plus I coach and I mentor people, as well as give you access to tons of resources and guides. It's called my Upside Down Fitness Community because we work on a lot of mindset stuff, the inside stuff, and we're a fun group of people striving to make healthier habits in this awesome chapter of life. So uh, make sure you get in there. I promise you'll absolutely love it. Just head over to UpsideDownFit.com and you can get into the group. And hey, you would be an awesome friend. If you get over to iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast and leave an honest rating and review for the Power Last podcast, it helps awesome people like you find this show even faster. And that's who I'm looking for, awesome people like you. That's all I have for this week, my friend. And it, just to let you know, you absolutely rock. That's all I have for this week. I'll see you on the next Power Blast podcast. And always remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. <laughs>